Welcome to the pronunciation crash course. Voiced and voiceless sounds. The basic source of power for speech is air from the lungs. The air from the lungs goes up the windpipe or trachea and into the larynx. It then passes between two small muscular folds called the vocal folds. Some people call them the vocal cords. When the vocal folds are apart, the air from the lungs will have a relatively free passage into the pharynx and the mouth. But if the vocal folds are adjusted so that there is only a narrow passage between them, the pressure of the air stream will cause them to vibrate. When the vocal folds vibrate, we can produce voice consonants like the first and last sounds in bag and mum and vowels like the sound in ah. When the vocal folds are not vibrating, we produce voiceless sounds like the first and last sounds in pipe, tight or slice. Articulators. The parts of the vocal tract that can be used to form sounds are called articulators. The articulators that form the lower surface of the vocal tract often move towards those that form the upper surface, for example, the tongue. Upper articulators. We will start with the upper lip. Behind this, we have the upper teeth. And just behind these, we have the alveolar ridge, which is a bony ridge, like a bump, right behind the teeth. Then we have the hard palate, the soft palate, the uvula, and the pharynx wall. Lower articulators. We will start with the lower lip. Then we have the most important articulator, the tongue. This is made up of the tip, the blade, the front, the center, the back, the root, and the epiglottis. We are now looking at the, to the tongue from the top, starting from the part of the tongue which is nearest to the opening of the mouth, we have the rim. Then the tip, the blade, the front, the back and the root.